my job involves various different elements of neurosurgery, but a significant proportion of it involves looking after people with tumours of the brain and pituitary. Uh, it has to be said that for primary malignant brain tumours, surgery is never going to be the ultimate answer because they tend to be uh, infiltrating the brain and the brain is important and it's not like it's not that the bowel is not important but it's not like the bowel or something where you can put a stapler 10 centimeters away on each side and take out a big lot of tissue which has the tumor in the middle you can only usually work around the edges of where the tumor is and and if there are tentacles of tumor infiltrating the brain far away from that then you can't remove those with surgery so at the end of the day surgery for malignant brain tumours is unlikely to ever provide the ultimate answer and what we really need is targeted therapies that, um, that can effectively kill off all the cells wherever they are in, in the brain. And in some of the other areas of cancer in the last decade there have been some really massive advances um, in terms of ability to, to to treat these patients, particularly with targeted agents. And so we're very hopeful that at the moment with, uh, with the trials that are going on, that we're just on the cusp of, of seeing some of those advances translate into neuro-oncology, because really there haven't been in the last couple of decades any major, uh, you, you know, huge advancements. They've been sort of tended to be more incremental. I think that I was influenced into neurosurgery probably by coming across the particular people that I came across when I was a medical student. So I was, I was always interested in the brain and, um, and there seemed to be a few people when I was a medical student saying that, oh, medicine's not the profession it used to be and it's, you know, why don't you go and do something else? <laughs> and, um, and then I went and did a neurosurgery rotation and they were, they were kind of like, come and have a look at this, isn't this interesting? And I thought, how come these guys are so excited about what they what they're doing and everyone else is telling me it's, it's, uh, it's, it's to get out now. So, so look, I was influenced by that. And, um, you know, I wanted to have a career where I felt that, um, where I felt that, you, you know, that I could tangibly see the results of what I was doing. I can ride a unicycle <laughs> and have done for about probably 25, to 30 years. I just learned as a kid and, and uh, once participated in the great unicycle race at the Royal Easter Show and I think I placed fourth. Uh, I was a bit fitter then than I am now so and uh, there wasn't much competition. <laughs> I, I'm also into music and, and um, really into jazz and play the saxophone. And that's it.